Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking on Rush 5 against the Sun family team. Now bear in mind it is as soon as I wake up I record these videos and get them out to you guys. So if I do ever sound just tired or whatever just bear, in, bear that in mind and forgive me. Now if you do not have this red meta cooler he is available on Master Pack 3 so you should by now. Uh, I've only got him a 2 star saying that so you can use the red freezer that recently came out. He's a phenomenal option but... I'm using Lineage because you get an achievement for doing so. So that's the team, basically. I'm using Chilled because he gives the buff to all the teammates. So, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, I guess. Let's jump straight into the gameplay. And there they are, all three of the Sun family together. Now, they came out on the same banner. And I got very lucky to even pull the Goku and the Gohan. Uh, I still haven't pulled the Goten to this day, which is very unfortunate for me, but I mean, it's it's okay. We've got the Super Saiyan 4 Goten uh, Goku now, so I don't really need him. <laughs> so, this is the team I'm running, obviously, because I need, you want to get all the, all the crystals you possibly can. Now, the other one to do this was running Sun Family, I believe. So, in saying that, what I did was I ran... Super Saiyan 4 Goku to counter the Goten. I ran Super Saiyan Yard Rat Goku to counter the red Go, uh, the yellow Goku, and then I ran the blue Gohan, the, the current one that's on the opposing team. I ran him uh, because just why not? Uh, they're a very good team. It's a very very easy challenge if you use those three. Yard Rat Goku. Bear in mind, you cannot get him past his current. You will not be able to get into the godly level of the boost panels because he does not have them. You, you have to get the souls from the event, so that hasn't come around again, so you can't actually boost him. But it doesn't matter, he's still very, very good for this event. I'm pretty sure they kept that in mind, or at least I hope they did. And, yeah. So realistically, this meta cooler is very, very good. I haven't actually used him how you're supposed to really use him. I'm just using him for the kind of the damage that he gives. Uh, unfortunately, they are charged a bit late, even though I knew what I was doing. So I did stuff up. It should have worked, but I did charge too long. Or to start charging too late. So that was a bit unfortunate. This was actually not the easiest of rushes, in my opinion. Uh, it wasn't, like, the worst. But it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't easy, I'd say. Because these guys, if they hit you, they freaking hit you. <laughs> You're gonna see later what I'm talking about. Um, this... This was a lot, um, yeah, with the Sun Family, if you want to complete it in the time limit as well, by the way, that's you're completing it at 120 counts, use the Sun Family, they're the best option for you to be able to do that, because this team, it's kind of all about endurance, really, um, you're not going to really do it a very, very, you're not even going to do it in a very quick time, let me put it that way, but... Um, it's not really an issue, I guess. It depends on your... I don't know. It depends if you actually care about getting all the crystals, because you only get 50 for completing it, but then you get 100 total if you complete all the missions. So, uh, I've completed all the objectives on all the rushes so far. Uh, yeah. If you have any questions about any of the rushes as well, guys, just let me know down in the comments and I'll answer them as best I can for you. Um, although in saying all this, uh, it does take me a few tries for some of the rushes. The G one where I use GT Goku, the Vegeta, those that was quite an easy rush. I'd say that was the easiest rush so far. Uh, this was, I think, tied for the first hardest behind the Cell, the Gogeta, and the Gohan. That was a very, very tough uh, rush. And I'd rather, I, I, I'd never want to do that one again. Sorry if, I, if my chair is squeaky, guys, apologies. Um, I never want to go through that again, because that was not a fun time. Now here I decided to just go for the rush with the Metacooler, because firstly, he is a very, very good damage dealer against this team. Or just, yeah, because he's a boost unit. Uh, he's the only boost unit on this team. And, yeah, it's, it's basically just who you want to prioritize getting rid of. I would highly recommend getting rid of the, um, not the yellow Goku. Do not get rid of the yellow Goku first, because if you do, his, uh, Goku, the Gohan, the Goten are going to hit you. They're going to one-shot you with their ultimate abilities. 
they're they i think they one shot you anyway with their ults so just be careful of that but if you thought there was a hope of them not one shotting you uh and you defeat the yellow goku cast that out of your mind because it's not going to happen so i would recommend taking out trying to get goten to his last um, health bar and when you've done that you can rush him but if you want to prioritize this uh, red Gohan because he does have the healing effect. If you want to prioritize him, I do understand that as well, because then at least you're there minus a character, and that's gonna help you a lot at the end of the day. So, yeah, you gotta love those perfect vanishes the CPU gets on you. Now there, it did a million damage. Great stuff. Sorry about that. Great stuff getting a million damage against me. I love it. Absolutely love it. That's you know that's what I come into these events for, expecting to get it by a million damage. Now, that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is, notice how close I am to winning. Notice how I have three characters. Well, now I have two characters, nearly two characters. I have three characters left. And... Yeah, I I'm gonna shut up and just let you watch for the next couple of seconds. So... Yeah, that's, that's great fun. So I had to switch out to the Metacooler to see if he could uh, not die, but unfortunately, it guessed. It doesn't. I don't get it right. Uh, <laughs> there's no guarantee you're going to get it right. By the way, I don't know if you've noticed. There are chances you will get it right. 11 million. Just saying. There are chances you'll get it right, but there are chances you will most certainly not get it right. Now, notice it's just used the blue card in the Rising Rush. Pretty damn sure it did. I might be, I might be a bit blind, but that's okay. So now I go for that, and then blue card. Oh, guess what? I'm top advantage. I don't care. One, I just bumped my lamp over. I'm a genius. One point, nearly one million damage. Are you mad? Against top advantage game, and then luckily I managed to just have a little bit of health left and win with the chill. Now this was so much closer than it needed to be. A lot of crap happened at the end, which shouldn't have happened, but it did. And it doesn't matter. So it does show that you have a few errors, you can still win. So all in all, the rush is finally completed. There's using LOE. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. Uh, let me know anything, any concerns you have done in the comments, and I'll help you as best I can. But for now, guys, I hope this did help you. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please do leave a like. Please do subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will see you all in the next one.